Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So on today's episode, I'm going to show you how to easily machine polish the taillights of your vehicle because like the paintwork over time, especially if it's a daily driver, it can accumulate some swirls and scratches uh, through poor washing methods. So this is my girlfriend's vehicle. Uh, sometimes when she brings it in for service at the car dealership, they wash the vehicle for her. I don't recommend that, but hey, it happens, right? And so they accumulate swirls and scratches, uh, especially through the uh, poor washing and drying technique. Techniques. Uh, also, if you bring your vehicle to an automatic car wash, especially with those brush rollers, so on and so forth, so things can happen. But luckily, there are a few easy steps. I'm going to show you, by the way, all the tools, uh, equipment and products that you'll need in just a few seconds. And again, this is the simple method. Because like the paintwork on your vehicle, the tail lights have a clear coat on them so you can correct the defects. So light oxidation, swirls and scratches through machine polishing. By the way, I'll include the links to all the products, tools and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So let's first have a look at the current state of the tail lights. And as I show you on screen right now, you're going to see with the uh, inspection light that we have all those grooves, those swirls, those scratches. There's some slight, slight oxidation because the vehicle uh, stays outside for uh, a lot of hours during the day when she goes to work, for example. So we'll be correcting all of those today. I remind you that we're not chasing perfection. So unless you have a vehicle that is garage kept or it's for a museum or things like that, you might chase the perfection. But what we're looking for is 80 to 90% improvement. As soon as you're a few feet uh, behind that, you're never going to see the difference, right? And also you don't want to correct them too often and too much because you're removing a bit of that clear coat, obviously. Uh, and over time, well, that diminished clear coat uh, can, well, create other issues like the paintwork, right? So what we're aiming for is as good as we can get for a daily driver. Uh, and also, you're going to notice I taped off the taillights once again to protect the rest of the paintwork when we're doing uh, the job itself. And at the end, when you're done with the correction, you're going to want to protect your taillights against the UV rays, against the elements, make them, of course, easier to wash just like your paintwork. So you would apply either a wax, a paint sealant, or a ceramic coating, or in this case, something very different and new that I've been testing recently. So first of all, let me show you the tools, products, and equipment that we're going to use in this video. All right, guys. So first order of business, uh, like anything when you're detailing vehicles, I highly recommend to wear some nitrile gloves to protect your hands from the chemicals and any other PPE or personal protection equipment uh, that you might need. Uh, next, you're going to need Need some masking tape, right? So in this case, I like the uh, 3M uh, precision tape. So that's what I use to tape off the uh, the headlights or the tail lights in this case, I should say. Next, we're going to need an inspection light. So I highly recommend that you have this, especially when you're doing some form of paint correction. So this one here is from ScanGrip. Uh, it has two uh, light modes that you can have. So this one here, which is the warmer tone. And then when you press and hit the button, it hits the colder bluish tone. So depending on the color of what you're working with, uh, that can uh, do the trick. So I'm going to use the warm tones in this case. We're going to shut it off. So it's basically to highlight the uh, defect removal that you're doing and also what kind of defects you are chasing. Obviously, we're going to need a polish, right? So in this case, uh, because there are lighter swirls or scratches, nothing too deep, uh, we're going to go with a polish. So there are a few options that you can use. Uh, the first one, these are all polishes that I recommend, by the way. This is the Rupez. This is their high performance uh, polish. So this is the, uh, the yellow one. So this is a finishing polish, fine polishing compound. Uh, the other one is the M302 by Koshemi. This is their micro cut. So once again, not too much cutting, uh, but higher gloss or higher finish in the end. Uh, another classic that I always recommend for the paintwork as well for polishes is the Sonax Perfect Finish. And something new in today's video is this one here that I've been testing recently. This is Rupez Uno Advanced. So this is their newer formula. I spoke about it with Jason Rose himself, the global training uh, director for Rupez when I was at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. And what the Advanced does is there's ceramic protection in it. So it's an all-in-one. You're correcting and you're protecting. Because don't forget, once you're done polishing your taillights, you have to add some form of protection, either a wax, a sealant, or a paint sealant, right? So if you're using one 
one of these polishes, when you're done polishing, you're gonna remove the polish, you're gonna buff it out, you're gonna use an isopropyl alcohol mix or a paint prep spray to remove the polishing oils, and then you apply your form of protection. However, in this case, you're doing two steps in one with the uh, Uno Advanced. So this one here is going to give you, they say, up to one year of protection, UV protection, protection against the elements, gonna make them uh, glossier, of course. It's gonna have some light filling capabilities to hide some minor imperfections, and you're doing two steps in one. The cool thing about this one, it only needs four hours of curing when you're done. So you're going to machine polish with this, wait at least 15 minutes before buffing off the polish, and when that's done, wait four hours of curing without exposing to water or rain, and then your vehicle is good to drive in the elements, and so you did two steps in one. You corrected, and you perfected, and you protected especially the uh, the finish. For taillights, we're also going to be using this polisher here. This is my Flex PXE80 mini polisher with a three inch backing plate for the pads. I'm using the uh, Rupes Fine Cutting or Polishing pad in this case, so the yellow pad, that's their polishing pad. Uh, for the Uno Advanced, Rupes recommends either their white um, finishing polishing pad or for a bit more cut, the yellow one, which is the one I prefer. It works super well. Uh, if you have some finer tail lights, like in a case of my Porsche 911 uh, Turbo S, so a 992 Gen in the back, it has that very fine tail light, right? You can use something like this with a one inch backing plate. Uh, this is my Rupes Nano Bigfoot Hybrid, so a, a cordless polisher once again, but it has this smaller head, and I'd still combine that with the uh, Rupes Yellow Foam Pad. Of course, you're gonna need a microfiber towel to buff off, but that's pretty much it. Now, I'm gonna show you how simple it's it, how simple this is, so let's go ahead and do the, uh, the polish on the tail lights. So very important guys, first of all, like I did here, tape off your tail lights to protect your paintwork when you're polishing and to be able to focus on the tail lights themselves. Next, you're gonna take your uh, polish. In the case of the Rupes Uno One Advanced, you wanna make sure to shake it properly. And every time you're adding more on your pad, make sure, again, to shake the, uh, the bottle properly. So that way you're mixing all the components up. They mentioned that on the label, by the way, it is crucial. So we're going to apply a few dots of this on the pad itself. And then like you would on paintwork, we're going to spread that on low speed on the taillights and then go ahead full speed and do polishing. So we're gonna do a few uh, passes. So left and right, up and down, we work in a crosshatch pattern. And basically, well, the amount of defect removal is just how long you're spending the time polishing. If you have a, a lot of deeper swirls and scratches, you might wanna start first with a compound and then finish with a polish. Uh, but in this case, it has nice filling capabilities and it should do a nice job in uh, not too much time. So roughly in five minutes of continuous polishing, you should be pretty much done for each side. So a 10, 15, minute job. This is super quick. So let's start spreading the product at low speed and then we're going to move to high speed for the actual polishing. By the way, light and slow arm speed. Do not apply too much pressure. You wanna keep the pad continuously spinning, right? And you wanna keep it as flat as possible. If you have too many angles or some more intricate uh, headlights, as I mentioned, there are some other smaller micro polishers that you can use with one inch or two inch heads for the pads. This one here is a three inch, so it's perfect because these are wider. But again, adapt your tools and needs according to that. So light and slow, not too much pressure. Let the pad and the polish do the work for you.
And that's pretty much it guys. So just a few minutes of polishing. The results should be pretty good. We're gonna let uh, the um, polish cure here for the required 15 minutes. Then we're gonna come back, buff it off and check out the final results with the inspection light. And hopefully we uh, removed a lot of the defects, a lot of the swirls, the scratches, the light oxidation. We're gonna improve the gloss and clarity and just give them that uh, up to one year of ceramic protection. All right guys, so it has been 15 minutes of curing for the Rupes Uno 1 Advanced. So let's go ahead, we're gonna take a microfiber towel and we're going to buff off the, uh, the polish. And what I like, it's an easy wipe off. There's little to no dusting with this polish. It's just, wow. And we're gonna tell, we're gonna do a focus, a focus with the uh, inspection light so you guys can see. All right, guys, so look at this. Pretty dramatic before and after. So as I'm shining the inspection light here, you can tell the level of removal. Yeah, even on camera, I think we can see this. It's pretty obvious. Again, we weren't aiming for perfection, but look at how better this looks. And look how clear these taillights are now. You can see all the intricate details inside there all the shapes, all the forms. So increased gloss, definitely. Increased clarity. Super slick to the touch now. Yep, this looks absolutely amazing. And all of this with just a few minutes of polishing, as you guys were hopefully able to see. So yeah, once again, look at that from afar. So if we have a look on screen, so this is the before all the swirls, the scratches, the oxidation, and definitely needed some improvements, right? And this is the after. So look at that gloss, look at that clarity. It's punchy, we see all the intricate designs in the taillight cluster now. Plus we added some protection. So what do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section. So let us remove the tape now so we can admire this even more. And I remind you that uh, all the uh, tools, equipment, and products used in the, uh, the video will be linked in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. If you enjoyed this tutorial, by the way, let me know uh, by smashing the thumbs up button. That always shows me your support. Share this video with uh, family and friends or anybody who can benefit from this type of tutorial. And uh, yeah, it's so satisfying, right? You guys can also do this at home. Look how good this looks. So in the meantime, guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.